Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing Ideas channel. JavaScript Lesson 11 String Manipulation String is an object in JavaScript, so we can use properties and methods on strings. That is how we do string manipulations. So let's go through the properties and the functions that I will cover on this lesson. The length property tells us how much of how many characters are there in a string. We can convert a string to uppercase. So the two uppercase method is what we use to do that. To lowercase method converts a string into a lowercase. Index of methods is used to check if a string exists within another string. Split method can be used to convert a string into an array. Slice method slices a string and lets you select part of the string. Trim method removes white spaces, characters like space, tab, from the beginning and the end of the string. So let's start off by with the length property. So I have created a variable called my string and given it the value of I am a string. So let's console.log log the length of this my string. So length is the property. So like in other objects, we use the dot notation to get the property of a particular object. So that's how we do the my uh, le get the length of a string. So the value we should get is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is the value that we should get. So let's go to our console and refresh. We get 13. So now let's go to two uppercase. So pretty simple to do. Copy, paste and use the two upper case method and I'm a string it gives us the, every st the whole of the string is turned to upper case now remember these methods do not change the my string value it only returns the uppercase version of that my string so if I do a console log of uh, console log of my string it's going to be the same thing as before so if I do that we will get the same value as I am a string like so see that didn't change the, so these methods return a string that is being converted to uppercase but not but does not change the my string value. If you want to change the my string value, of course, you have to do something like this. Say my string equals to the converted string. So now this will change the my string value. It won't change if we don't do this. So let's re refresh and that confirms that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to next go to the two lowercase method. Okay, and that's going to convert the string into lowercase. Index of method is used to check if a string exists within a string. So I'm going to do that. So my string dot index of and I have to give in the string that I need to find, so am. So that will search this string to find the am string within this string. So that will give up and it will return the index of that string. So it will return starting from 0, 1, 2 is the starting place of the searched string. Yes, and we get 2. There's another parameter that we can pass to this method. That is, we can ask this index of method to start from the third character onwards. And if we do that, then it will start searching from here. So it'll, it's going to skip one, zero, one, two, three. So it's going to skip all of that and it's going to start from here to the end. So it won't find an AM string from there so it will return a minus one value which is a false value so let's check that and yes we get minus one because it didn't find a m string so we can change this to a delete the m and ask it to do it again so it will give us a value that it will find this a and give us a value and 
it says that this a starts from the character index of 5. Okay, so that is the index of method. We have split method. So split method can be used to convert a string into an array. So we can get an array from the split method. So split, split, and this function expects one parameter. So that parameter is the character that we need to use in order to split this string. So I am going to use the space character. So it, this string will, my string will be separated wherever there is a space character. So it will split from here, here and here and put those strings into an array, it will return an array. Yes, I have a string. It returns an array by splitting everywhere there is an empty character. Okay, that is a split and we have the slice method. Slice as a string and lets you select part of the string. So that then that again, it will use the string, my string and slice wherever we want. So let's change this to slice. And we should ask for, from which character onwards that we want to slice. So I am going to say, uh, I'm going to use zero, one, two, three, four. I'm going to ask it to slice four, starting from four. So we will get return the value of a string. Yes, we get the a string. Now we can have an end slice as well that tells you to stop. Okay, let's tell you to stop from here on end. So if I say this, if I pass in the second parameter as three, what that does is it's, it will start from here and we stop here because so stop here because it will ignore the last three characters because we have asked it to start from four and end from three so the three counts from this as this side of the string so g n and i will be missed oops slice end slice optional the zero based index at which to end extraction if omitting slice extracts to the end of the string i have counted this wrong i have to ask it to start from four and go up until ten and we get the uh, string i hope you understood that so of course we can pass in negative values to this so i was thinking about that when explaining the positive integers so the negative says so if i put uh, if i change negative three then it will start from here from the fourth character onwards and it will stop from one two three and we get a value so negative say go to the end and come from there so go to the end and come from there so negative is that's what the negative does Okay, and we get the same value from the minus 3 okay and last but not the least we have the trim method so let's do a trim so I'm going to create uh, a variable uh, that has spaces string that has spaces so space 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 tab also we can have and I'm going to say test and we can have bunch of spaces and we can use the trim function trim function which will remove everything from the beginning and the end of a particular string so it will remove for this part and this part but it will not remove the spaces in between the two strings so we get the value of that empty string empty character but not from the beginning and the end okay so those are the methods that I want to cover but there are in detailed uh, articles on regarding every each and every function that you can do on a string so uh, I will add this link to the description and you will be able to go to the two pop properties we cover the length property and we won't cover the prototype property but you can read about that and of course there is many other functions that you can use in uh, to a string so index of we covered last index of we didn't cover take a look at that you will be using it uh, there's split 
starts with strike sub substring all that there are plenty of other functions so go through all that and learn more about it okay so i think that covers this lesson i hope you enjoyed and now you know how to manipulate a string in javascript so thanks for watching do subscribe do share and do like thank you very much